Hola, high fashion doll lovers. My name is Christopher E. Bienvenidos to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing my thoughts on the newly released Recoco collection by Meteor at Integrity Toys. Now, if you are a fashion doll lover, just like myself, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I have a new fashion video uploaded. Now, let's get into today's video, shall we? Welcome to the Recoco collection by the Meteor line. I'm going to save my thoughts of the full collection at the end. I'm going to talk about each girl individually. So first up, we have Serving Cake at Kiki. Now, I am filming on my phone, so I don't have the details in front of me. But I took a screenshot and I'll be inserting them in here. But really quickly, she has an edition size of $7.50. She is quoted currently to be shipping summer 2023 and she retails at 175 I'd say quoting because last year was a little weird with shipping not being on time but I feel like and this is an assumption this isn't a quote I feel like Integrity heard the complaints on shipment and I think this year they're trying to be a little quicker of a turnaround with their product release and shipping but that's an assumption Things are out of all of our control. So that's that. Take that information with a grain of salt when it comes to shipping dates. Now, although Kiki is one of the faces that I already have in my collection, I love, 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 love this face mold with the right screening. This screening in the video looked really good up close, but this lip color is a little harsh for me. And I must say that the standout piece here is the hair. If I would have gotten this girl, I don't know if I would have touched this hair because it's just a piece of art to look at these two French braids be corset together with a piece of string is just iconic. I also have to say that Kiki probably has some of the best styling pieces because they're the most um, separates. She wears the most separates out of the whole collection. And I love how they tied in her name with her purse. They really made sure to point this out in the, vi the YouTube video. And because in the photo, you can't really see what it is. But I love that they gave her purse to be like a shape of of a piece of cake because it's very um it's very in touch with the feel of the collection and what i love about this collection and i'll probably speak about this later more is i love how it gives tribute to an era but it's yet modern and it's very campy and i think that's what i love about this particular collection so those are my thoughts on serving cake kiki Okay, so next up we have Succession. I will not be pronouncing this name because I do not want to butcher it. I was also educated on the fact that she is not new to Integrity Toys, but she's new to Meteor. If I'm not mistaken, I heard in the video that she is a face mold from like the Style Lab, um, which I think is super cool to be bringing these like old molds and old face molds. <laughs> And include them in new lines because a lot of new collectors have not seen a lot of these molds, so they're new to us. And it's great to see them have a new life somewhere else. Now, I wanted to also say, if you are an Integrity Toys follower on Instagram, you might have seen this doll on their page because she leaked, I want to say, two months ago. So even with that notion that these photos were already taken about two months ago and they waited until now to release it, means that they are being a little bit more considered with their shipping date. Now, I have by now probably already inserted the data on the side, and if I haven't, I'm going to do it now. Um, she has the same edition size as Kiki, which is $7.50. It appears that all the dolls have the same edition size. They all also retail for $1.75. Um, and again, she is quoted to ship around summer 2023. So the three dealer dolls have the same information. The lottery doll is a little bit different. Just a heads up. I probably will be repeating it again, but just to say. Now... With this doll, she was probably one of the best screenings. I love the neutral makeup. I love the palette of the outfit. She had the more subdued, soft, yet modern look. I think like everyone else was very bright, very in your face, very like loud. She took the opposite approach and it's one of my favorite approaches. But again, I kind of stay away from Meteor because they're always a project. And with this particular doll, I, though I loved the screening, it was way too much hair that even I wouldn't know what to handle. And I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. But anyways, I'm not going to give you too much because I have some thoughts at the end. So stay tuned. We'll get into those there. Um, but again, loved her details. I love that her bag, it, it's weird because her bag is not a fan. 
I'm actually not sure what her bag is, but I love that it fully opens. I love the shot where it's shown as it's open. I'm probably inserting it here. Um, and I'm really loving the cohesiveness with the bags in this collection. I love how they're kind of like the added touch that takes the look a little bit more camp. And when you're doing a modern switch for such a history period, it's so fun to add those kind of quirky touches. Now we're going to talk about head over heels, Talia. That is not how you pronounce that name. And I've been pronouncing it a few times in my head, thinking I was going to get this one right. And I didn't. You see, this is why I'm not pronouncing these names, because I haven't heard them enough and I'm going to butcher them. Now, this face mold is a new face mold being introduced in this line. And... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to give it to you. Mm -mm. What I did notice about this particular doll is that she doesn't have a bag. And I find it interesting. Sometimes when it comes to collections like this, I usually want to count the accessories and be like, was there like a limit? Because I'm thinking she really doesn't have anything but earrings and these boots. So why does she not have a bag? Like, I almost feel like she's incomplete without it and she's giving me the same price. So this is a particular doll where I'm just like, hmm, what happened? What you missing? I will say that she is overall one of the best styled to me. Love her look out of everyone. There you go. I said it. That's what I was trying to hold on to. Her screening, however, I don't think her screening really does the best for her face mold. I feel like it doesn't highlight it. It's not the best introduction. It's really kind of flat and it doesn't really give us much really there. Um, but it is the standout of the group for me in this collection, I will say. Now, last but not least, we have Holding Court. I will not be doing it to myself because it's one of those names that I think I know, but I don't. So, insert information here. Now, this doll is the lottery doll. She is slated to be arriving late June, so it appears she's already at hand and ready to go. She is the only lottery one and the only one slated for June. Her edition size is the same and her price is the same. I will say that out of the collection, the Succession, whose name I cannot pronounce, and um, Holding Court have the best screening. I just love, I love a good neutral makeup when everything else is so loud. I like a good balance, especially with this doll. It's this bright neon color of a green that's very highlight. So if you were to do that with a harsh makeup, it would just would not work. So I really appreciate the balance that this look has. I also think this is one of the most cohesive looks. It is a look that I feel like I've probably already seen, to be honest with you. Um, there was a voice, the voice show in like Australia did a girl group and they had this like Ricoco but modernized styling looks and this looked like it was, this looks like one of the looks in that show. Ooh, I have allergies and I'm really trying to work through this video, so bear with me, okay? Bear with me if that was one of those moments. Um, but this is another one of those dolls that I was like, ooh, my mm, and I'll tell you why. Well, now, because we're at the end of the video. Okay, for the information I've been saving for the end of this video is, I did not and will not purchase any one of these dolls. <laughs> But here is why I ran to make this video on the day that these photos were released because I feel like it's one of the strongest collections we have seen in a while. And although none of the dolls were a gut reaction to me, it does not mean I can't celebrate or give positive thoughts on a collection that I thought was very well executed. I love a good theme. I love something historical that's brought modern. Do I think some of the styling is a little weird with Meteor? All the time. But I also feel like they're the line that keeps on warming up to me. My other thing with Meteor is, and I think I might have mentioned this briefly in one of my segments with the girls, it's a body type that I don't particularly like. So whenever I see a Meteor doll, I always think it's a project no matter what. So uh, it's very few times where it's like a gut reaction, like go get it, because I know if I purchase it, I have to change the body. Um, and in this case, my two favorites were projects one where the other. Um, the head over heels is my favorite look and my favorite face mold out of this line because I already have Kiki. 
and I think she would have been the less project but she's still a project nonetheless <laughs> how that worked out because I would have to a rebody her it's a given and b I feel like she needs to repaint I feel like as I was saying with the uh holding court something about Kiki and head over heels their screaming was a bit cartoonish the makeup felt a little harsh for the looks that they were wearing um so I just didn't appreciate that of her and if I was to get anyone it would be her but again it would be a project and because I have already received an email with pre-orders coming around it doesn't seem like the best time to be jumping into a project without knowing consistently if I can actually go through with the project I'm also in a phase of my life where I'm trying to adult so uh yeah that's a whole nother thing now holding court which is the lottery doll I didn't really love the look, but I loved her screaming. And so in that case, I was like, I really just want your head and maybe the pearls that you come with. So that that was, you know, that ain't enough to get a doll. But again, although I'm not purchasing one, doesn't mean I can't celebrate when good work is presented. And that's what it is. Now, it isn't everyone's cup of tea. But for someone who's been collecting for the last few years, I haven't seen that many strong collections with a theme or, or that have taken a risk and I really feel like this collection with Vaughn was that collection. And do I think it's perfect? No. But do I think it's a step in the right direction? Yes. I also think that we're right now in a transitional phase with the W Club where I feel like they might have heard our complaints about how big the gaps were between our dolls last year and they're trying to make up with it this year. So. In order to go in a, in a new direction or in order to improve something, you have to have a period of discomfort. That is life. And I think that's the period that we're in now. So for everyone that's kind of like, what, where, why, no, listen, nothing's perfect. That That's kind of just how the cookie crumbles. And it's sad that in this community, we want a lot of things to be perfect, but that is not the reality. So with that, I close my video. Those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope they ignited something new that was not coming. The head is hurting. We're going to let that go. And until next time, guys, I bid you farewell. I have a lot of things in the work. So I hope you hit the subscribe button earlier because uh, the schedule is kind of packed over here. Okay? So until next time, adios.